Hey friends, Andy here. How you doing? Good to see you. I have had a ton of requests to talk about the Capital One 360 account and I decided an account that lets users have 25 separate checking accounts and no monthly minimums was definitely something worth investigating further. So I put on my Sherlock Holmes hat and set off to figure out if this Capital One 360 account was all it was cracked up to be. Today I am going to deep dive into all features of the Capital One 360 account. But first, let's go ahead and skip to the conclusion of this video with a spoiler alert. The Capital One 360 account brings a ton of features and a well-known name to the table. The checking account touts some of the same bennies as some of the new up-and-coming fintech companies without risking trusting your money to Joe Schmo Bank out of grandma's basement and you get automatic access to 25 savings accounts to help you meet all of your goals. Capital One 360's hybrid brick and mortar meets online model creates a user-friendly experience that is an excellent option for anyone wanting more from their bank. If you want more detail than that, then stick around for the rest of the video because I'll talk more in depth about what makes Capital One 360 accounts unique, what the pros and cons are, and whether you should consider Capital One for your banking needs or not. Before we get going here, please crush that like button for me. Every one of your likes is a free way for you to support this channel and allow me to keep bringing you videos on all the hottest financial topics. Okay, on to the review. Unless you've been living under a rock and no judgment, you have probably heard of Capital One. Capital One was founded in 1988 under a different name and became Capital One, the credit card giant that touts power actors like Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta in its commercials in 1994. Capital One started as a monoline credit card company, meaning they only did one thing really, really well until 2005 when they branched into banking services. Get it? branched. Still, lots of people might not even know you can bank with Capital One even though Capital One banking has been around for some 16 years. That's where I come in. Today, they have over 360 billion in banking assets under management and they're putting their technology where their money is. Let's talk about why this credit card company turned bank might be the bank for you and why the 360 card has tons of perks to entice you to make the switch. The Capital One 360 checking account is an online checking account with FDIC and fraud coverage. Account holders have access to their accounts 24 seven and 365 days a year online. But because Capital One also has branches and cafes, account holders can stop into any of the locations to get help from a real live human being that probably likes coffee and long walks on the beach. The Capital One 360 checking account has no balance minimums or fees. Most ATM withdrawals are fee less too because there are over 70,000 ATMs to choose from. Perhaps the most appealing feature of the Capital One 360 checking account and card is the overdraft flexibility. If you are a person who finds yourself paying overdraft fees a little more often than you like, the Capital One 360 checking account is probably going to be your friend. I'll talk more about that in a minute though. You don't even need to make an initial deposit to open a Capital One 360 account. I mean, you have to make a deposit of some sort in the first 60 days or they will close it, but you don't have to plunk down Benjamins upon Benjamins to open it. You can also open up to 25 separate savings accounts accounts to help you save for individual goals, and they can all be managed from your one-stop shop online or on their mobile app. I don't normally do this, but I'm just going to rapid fire some of the features that make the Capital One 360 account amazing so that I can spend more time talking about what makes it unique. All right, ready? and 24 seven banking access, no monthly fees, free debit card, easy bill pay, mobile check depositing. Are you thinking, but Andy, I can get all that almost anywhere these days. Well, you're right. Now let's talk about what makes Capital One 360 different. The overdraft options to me are one of the most unique features of the Capital One 360 account. Capital One lets you decide which of the three ways you want your overdraft situation to be handled. You can choose for Capital One to Hulk smash your purchases. Also known as decline any purchase that would result in an overdraft. Account holders can also choose next day grace that allows them to replace the amount they've overdraft within one full business day before you're charged a $35 fee. Finally, there is the CYA or cover your account method where the Capital One whips some money from your Capital One 360 savings account to cover the expense. Even in other free accounts, there is almost always an overdraft fee. The fact that Capital One 360 gives you so many options to 
avoid it makes it a winner in my book. Capital One 360 account does have a mobile app and is considered an online bank. The technology to support this account is pretty impressive as one would expect from such a well-established company. Capital One 360 account has a savings component that lets account holders have up to 25 individual sub accounts, so to speak. You might be confused as to why anyone would need 25 savings accounts, but it's because Capital One wants you to have flexibility in your savings goals. Access to 25 savings accounts hopefully encourages you to save for your glitter Vespa. Oh, it's beautiful and may be able to save for emergencies, so both are covered. When it comes time to use the money you saved, card holders can transfer their money to their Capital One checking account or to any external account easily, but they can't withdraw directly from an ATM. Bill pay and mobile check depositing are also super easy with the Capital One app. If you're in a hurry to get your money before payday, you might also be interested in their early paycheck feature that lets card holders get their paycheck up to two days early. Card holders that use Capital One 360 savings accounts can expect a 0.4% APY. Is 0.4% earth shattering? Well, no. Won't make you Warren Buffett overnight, but it's a pretty solid return for a savings account these days. The checking account interest is 0.1% APY, and that's also higher than what most other banks are offering in this market. So why wouldn't you get a Capital One account? Let's talk for a second about what I see as the downsides. The Capital One 360 account has a whole lot going for it. I like that it's mostly online, but has the backup support of Brick and mortar locations. I like that they pay pretty decent interest rates for a bank and that your money is your money since there are no fees. What I don't necessarily like is that while the concept of several savings accounts as a way to customize your saving seems like a good thing, if you split your money up, you aren't getting the most from your interest. Sure, you're earning the 0.4% APY in each of your accounts, but you're making smaller impacts on each of your accounts rather than a bigger impact if you had just one account. There are tons of other online banks out there that offer way less interest though, so it is a bit of a nitpick. At the end of the day, I'd rather earn 0.4% on all my money in smaller amounts like with the Capital One 360 account than 0.4% on one bigger savings account with some other bank. My last potential downside to the Capital One 360 account is the overdraft leniency. I do not know that the Capital 360 account would encourage overdrafts, but not charging a fee is certainly intended for those one-off accidents and not to make overdrafts a recurring event. I wouldn't have even thought twice about it, but Capital One 360 used to have fee-less overdrafts and then those went away. So maybe people did use their debit card as a credit card? Probably don't do that. Stop it. But if you do have the occasional mishap, the added overdraft buffer is nice. All in all, I mostly like everything about the Capital One 360. Now that we have covered a little bit of the history and the good things and more nitpicky things about the Capital One 360 account, what is my final recommendation? Well, it's a really solid choice for anyone who wants to use an online bank without worrying about the credibility of the bank they choose. Online banks are popping up faster than those beady-eyed little creatures in whack-a-mole, but Capital One is a name you can trust. If you found this review and info helpful, then please like the video and subscribe for more money-related content on my channel. And if you've used Capital One 360 for yourself, let me know down in the comments section below. I would love to hear about your experience. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.